Hello lovely beings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hello, welcome, welcome new subscribers. I'm Cindy and we are going to do a requested pick a card reading. So I am so excited for this. It's just going to be fun and exciting. So for some of you requested from me to do pick a card reading videos that has the question, who is your future spouse and also will they propose to you you know how they're going to propose to you when and so on so i am so excited to do this pick a card reading for you so by the time that i uploaded this video i am doing two videos at the same time so for this video we are going to ask the question will they propose to you how and also when if you haven't watched the other pick a card reading video and you're interested to know i put the link down below in the description also always remember before you pick your own card always pause the video meditate on it take in a few deep breaths you can also use a pendulum to choose the card remember to truly tune in with your intuition with source higher self universe or whatever term that you use but it's so incredibly important that you really listen to your own intuition and your gut feelings because you have to be able to discern the information yourself so you know which resonates and which doesn't if some of my message doesn't resonate with you then don't sweat it simply leave it be and just take what resonates well with you just keep in mind that pick a card readings are a general reading maybe some of the details may resonate with you maybe some of them doesn't it's always like that because I am reading for a lot of people I am channeling into the collective energy to all of the higher self that are involved in the situation so just keep in mind about that and also since we are talking about love romance marriage and stuff like that I created a few videos about the law of attraction that has to do with love building self-love self-confidence attracting more romance into your life that's healthy that's happy that's balanced for you so if you are interested in other spiritual stuff and also like art here this is the painting on progress that I'm making I have another channel and Instagram at Amorinet where I do creative content videos and also spiritual topic I put down the link to my other channel down below in the description if you're interested to book a personal reading with me you can check out all of the information down below in the description and also my email at adoraslight at gmail.com so anyway I hope that you'll enjoy this card reading and I hope that you'll resonate with my reading as well if you vibe with my channel over all give it a thumbs up and comment down below i would love to hear your comments how do you feel and resonate about this so thank you so much for your support as well you can of course subscribe and click the bell ring so you won't miss any notification all right so hi lovelies so we're just going to start ahead with the reading this is pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four and just remember again to tune in with your intuition i put in this beautiful shells on top of this card so you may choose based on the shells or just based on your you know on your intuition and whichever pile or piles of card that drawn to you the most so i'm just going to put away this shell so if you feel like the shells are distracting you then you can just like pick whichever calls to you the most based on the cards themselves hello there pile card number one so to those of you who pick i'm just going to open up the cards one by one so usually when i read i just like open all of the cards at once but i think it's probably going to be much better for me to like focus on one card at a time so here we have 10 of earth from the angel tarot cards and this is talking about a very happy family life and finding magic in the little things in life so whoever this person is that you have in your mind they definitely are looking towards like 
a really happy meaningful abundant full family life with you so if you're wondering if they're going to propose or not this is definitely a yes because this card of ten of earth is such a marriage type kind of card it all has to do with like family bonding relationship that is very very prosperous it's, it's just so full of magic happiness and luck as well so definitely first card it is saying that yes this person definitely wants to propose to you all right so the second card that we have is ten of air so this person is definitely looking towards the future with you this person is like fantasizing of all the things that they can have in the future with you so yes they do want to propose to you they do want marriage with you they can definitely see their future with you spending the rest of their life with you and having a family literally you know having children so this person might also want to have like two children or maybe three but for the majority of you i feel like this person is looking towards having two children with you so that can also be a hint and how this person or when this person is going to propose to you we'll just like take a look at the other cards so just know that this person has uh, or had this uh, this person had some type of like failed relationships in the past that really hurt them or kind of like betray their trust and so if you have been wondering for such a long time if this person is going to propose or not and maybe you actually already talk about marriage with this person and you thought that that person is actually ready but why aren't they making a move if you're wondering about that then this card is saying that that person is still dealing or healing with any residue energy of the past this person is trying to like completely cut off any attachments or cords from the past but from the collective energy here i feel like this is more about they just really want to be completely ready with a new chapter with a fresh start with you that they still need to deal with some things in their life that they have to completely let go like burn the bridges something like that so this person is definitely very very passionate and fiery as well they have a lot of fire energy within them but they are also quite logical so for some of you it, it's either you or that person in your mind they are logical they're quite like diplomatic in the way that they communicate they're very intelligent definitely but in the seven of fire i do see that they have a lot of energy of like fiery energy within them so they're definitely romantic passionate as well and i do see that they even have some type of kings in you know in the bedroom with you so this is really cool but the seven of fire what you have to know about this is that maybe in the beginning you and this person might have some like different types of uh, perspective in life belief or even goals so it might be a little bit confusing in the beginning on how to handle things but if you just like you know move towards this i do see that you and your person can deal with things and for some of you as well if you do resonate either it's you or the person in your mind i feel like they still have some unfinished business with their family or some type of unfinished situation or conversation that they still need to have with their family either it has to do with their siblings parents or even like their whole family in general because there's something really important that has to do with their childhood situation or issues that they need to finish so that they can completely truly move on and start this fresh new chapter with you and look towards the future and have a very happy prosperous family with you so the next card we have is six of air so definitely how this person is going to propose to you i see that this person might as well take you on a really nice trip whether it's like out of town or literally out of the country um i see that 
you might actually be in a place where it has a lot of water like a lot of body of water whether it's at a lake or by the river for some of you hint it can be in Italy like Venice Italy and for some others of you I feel that this can literally be at the ocean or I mean by the beach there, there's something like about a body of water so when this person is going to propose to you and how they're going to propose to you I see a huge hint that person is going to take you on like a trip or a vacation somewhere in the tropical area or anywhere that has a huge body of water and that's when that person is going to propose to you and I also feel the vibe that it's probably going to be like from the afternoon towards the evening time and it's definitely outdoor this is what I see and it's it has a lot of beautiful nature the view everything is just beautiful everything is just perfect everything is so aesthetic to you know to be photographed so it's like this person is, is seriously planning things out they want to set up the place, they want to set up the mood, the lighting and everything because they want to make this perfect, they want to make sure that they do this perfectly and they want to make sure that of course they are completely ready because from the six of air I also received the feeling of such beautiful warmth but outdoor, somewhere near nature so you know you can take this as a hint so let's see what the other card is saying unity this is a major arcana card so unity i think that is pretty much self-explanatory it literally is saying that yes this is going to be a wonderful union so for some of you if you do resonate then it can be a twin flame this can be a twin flame union but the overall energy here i feel like more towards soulmate but then again it's just a term if you don't connect with the term of soulmate or twin flame whatever it is it doesn't matter just take what resonates but this is what i see but this is from what i see uh, from this reading so far and when it comes to the timing i i don't really see any specific time as in like in in how many next months or how many next years or weeks i don't see but just keep in mind that the number five can be a significant number to you. So whether five is going to come up as a synchronizing repetitive numbers for you, as a reminder, a guidance, or a sign from the universe, whether you actually feel like it's going to be five months from now on, just take what resonates. But whatever it is, I do feel like five is going to be a personal significant number for you. So just keep that in mind. We're going to move ahead to the next card and it is saying stay optimistic about your love life. So this card right here, I feel like this is telling me more again about the environment of when you're going to get proposed and how that person is going to propose you so as you can see here the lady she is outdoor somewhere at like a park like a really beautiful garden park outside and so again this person definitely is planning a beautiful nice trip with you and they're going to propose you outside near nature whether it's at by the beach by the mountains or like in italy or somewhere around there or maybe at the park as well but definitely i do see there will be like a huge body of water around or somewhere near because i see this person also wants to take you on a boat ride so the last card we have is love yourself first so this card is just another reminder for you to keep in mind that it's very important that right Right now whether you are waiting for this person or not just don't get overly desperate because for some of you if you do resonate this card is just another reminder that you still have to focus on your own self work you still have to focus on your life as well it is very 
good for you to have desires because that means you know what you want but just keep in mind that don't let yourself get into the stage of desperation of waiting and waiting and waiting for that person because that might actually make you anxious so this card is saying to please relax calm down and be patient the right time will come for both of you to finally unite be in this union and have a very happy prosperous upcoming future you know and might as well have family and have two children for some of you so that's it from what i see in this reading with you pile card number one i hope that it resonates so if it does please don't forget to like and comment down below how do you feel about this reading and how do you resonate i will be back with more videos and i will see you soon love please take care hello there lovelies for those of you who picked pile card number two we're just going to take a look at the cards so we receive only two cards from the angel tarot but this is incredibly freaking wonderful because you receive the star card which is a major arcana card and we have the page of water this is a very deep emotional connection this is so freaking deep so i feel like if you do resonate for some of you i feel like this can be a twin flame relationship as well and for the star card i also see with the number 17 just keep in mind that for some of you the number 17 can be a significant number whether it's a repetitive sign that the universe is giving you so whether it's 17 or 8 as well because 17 1 plus 7 is 8 so both the number 17 and also 8 can be a significant number for you just remember to truly tune in with your own intuition and take what resonates if you feel like it's somewhere like within the next 8 months or maybe 17 weeks whatever it is just take it what resonates and truly feel it in your intuition because i don't see any specific exact date but the star is a very wonderful card so will this person propose to you definitely freaking yes this person really really wants to propose to you and i see that for quite some time this person actually has been dreaming about you like fantasizing and daydreaming day and night on how they can propose you and how they're going to propose you when how everything is going to unfold they have been dreaming about this and they really really want this and i see that this person love you so incredibly much that they are so ready to offer their cup to you because with the page of water i see this cup that is like coming out from the ocean here so this is like an overflowing of emotion like the entire freaking ocean represents with how they feel and look at this with the star card and the angel here has two overflowing cup like an eternal flow of water and water in this situation is definitely like deep emotional connection love compassion and it's just so full of abundance so this connection is so powerful i even see that you can be like some type of power couple here because i see such huge and powerful deep spiritual connection between you and this person as well so with you uniting with this person in marriage i do see that it's going to affect like both of you spirituality uh, spiritually sorry spiritually in a good and positive way both of you have a spiritual mission together so yeah this this has a lot of like twin flame vibe if if you resonate with the twin flame term or concept then this can definitely be a twin flame and the star is just telling like oh my gosh it's everything wonderful it's literally saying that this is definitely the one and i am also looking this girl right here this, this lady on the water with the in the page of water she she's like holding i don't know this is really attracting to me i think she's holding some type of wand it's like a magical wand and it's like glowing so bright and the pose of her arms it's almost as if she's like uh 
pulling an arrow, you know, like archery. So I feel like this person is trying to hit the spot, you know. They're trying to really, really hit the nail in this situation. They want to plan everything perfectly. They really do. And I see that you're going to be so happy as well. And so let's see what the cards have to say more about the situation we can see how they're going to propose any hints you know anything so retreat this person i feel like is going to ask you at uh, out on a trip for them to propose to you this can be somewhere in this for a lot of you i feel like this can be in nature outdoor but somewhere quite far from civilization so i feel like this person wants to have a retreat with you for for them to propose to you but this is going to be somewhere like in the private secluded area so it's not have it's not it doesn't has to necessarily necessarily be far away from civilization like somewhere out in the middle of nowhere but it can also be that way but from what I feel from the for the majority of you, I feel like maybe you are retreating at some type of private villa at the at the forest or like the mountains somewhere that's secluded, private, and it's just very personal because I feel like this person, the energy of this person in your mind, they have a more like private type of energy. They just want to build everything purely within this relationship and they don't want other energies or people other people mess around with the energy of both of you they are very protective of this relationship they are very protective of you i do see that energy a lot here so this can be a private retreat i also see that this can also be somewhere some type of like a, a house or a villa it's not really a hotel i feel like it can be a house or a villa that's like secluded and private but for some of you this also hint this can be somewhere in iceland so i feel for some of you this person might want to propose to you a like afternoon towards evening time but i think this can also be like evening time with with the star card they're going to propose to you at around evening and i feel like you know you're in iceland you're having a retreat in a private secluded villa in the middle of nowhere in iceland surrounded by all of this beauty this nature this crazy amazing view and both of you are just like wa watching the aurora borealis i hope i hope i pronounced that right like the aurora uh in the night sky so i see that i see there for some of you the next card chemistry oh my gosh this is so freaking amazing oh my gosh oh my freaking gosh okay so i just said that this person is going to propose to you at evening right for the majority of you look at this this environment you can see like the, this man here he's offering something to the woman here right so yes this is like another confirmation that if you do resonate with this this person is going to offer to you this proposal at nighttime somewhere in a secluded private area or villa that is very very nature like everything that has to do with like connecting nature because this person and you i feel that both of you truly enjoy nature you know spending time together in a private place because everything is just freaking personal this person is also spiritual very spiritual deep down so i feel like both of you can really connect together that's why you know we have the chemistry card oh my gosh guess what oh my gosh okay so with the page of water i just also said that with the page of water i noticed with the lady having that arm gesture as if like she's pulling the the arrow you know like in archery look at this there is a freaking cupid here that's aiming that's aiming the arrow so yeah <laughs> be ready for this person to hit you right on the freaking spot <laughs> oh my gosh what the 
This is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. I think this is self-explanatory engagement. I mean, you know, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited and happy for you. So the last card, you deserve love. So I think it's very obvious, you know, it's just like, hey, you really deserve this. If, you, if you've if you been doubting about this connection, don't. Because guess what? Another picture of a person literally doing this archery. I don't know why I keep calling it archery, but you know, pulling the arrow on the bowstring. This person is definitely aiming you for this. This person that you have in mind, you don't have to worry about them because guess what this person is literally having you nailed in their mind they are pointing towards you they just want you so much they really love you it's like you're the only thing that they can think about and also look at that it's also nighttime nighttime here so yeah you, you can take that as a hint this person is going to propose to you in the nighttime in a secluded private place where it's out there somewhere in nature you're going to enjoy that retreat so much and they're going to pop the question so yeah i think that's pretty much it from what i see from this reading again don't forget to keep in mind with the 17 and the 8 number because that can be a significant number for you i hope that this reading resonates and if it does please don't forget to like and comment down below i would love to hear your thoughts and your feelings about this reading so i will be back with more take care lovelies all right hello with those of you who picked Pile card number three, we're going to find out everything that you can know about this person. Okay, so life experience. This is a major arcana card. So with this energy, I feel like this is talking more about you in this moment right now. So yes, because you're watching this video, you're definitely looking towards when will this person propose to me is this person actually ready do they actually want to be with me you know i feel like this energy that you are in right now you are questioning and wondering about so many things in your mind right now because you're just like come on when will this person make the move it's it's time you know like it's been a while like what's going on why is this isn't this person popping the question like i know that they want me like i know that they want to be together with me so the, the life experience card is just saying that if you do resonate with that if you are in that energy if you're feeling that way the life experience card is just saying that whenever it's going to happen with whoever it is you have to be truly patient with the divine perfect timing just know that there are other things happening behind the curtain behind the stage and the universe is also trying to put all the pieces backed in one place first you know like the puzzle is still in form of you know becoming one but it's still in progress it is still in progress so you just have to be patient about that so right now you for for some of you it's, it's not going to be for all of you of course so because this is a general reading but for some of you i feel like you are almost about to you know get in, into this brink of some type of desperation where you feel almost hopeless in this in this relationship because for for some of you i feel like you are even thinking about whether you should give this person a chance or not because i do see that you have a long history with this person it's been rough and tough as well but you really do love this person you know and this is a major arcana card with the number 16 so maybe the number 16 can be a significant number for you but i don't see anything really specific so far so i'm just going to go okay i also just noticed the blue butterfly here in this card somehow my eyes are really attracted to this blue butterfly so the blue butterfly is a symbol of message and signs from the universe that you have to really pay attention 
especially of all the synchronizing signs events things that seemingly like a coincidence but they're not the universe is saying to please do be aware pay attention and really listen to your intuition whenever you are receiving this guidance this signs reminders whatever it is through your everyday life and your dreaming state as well so the next card we have ace of air a challenging beginning and seeing the truth of a situation so again this person that you have in your mind they're a little bit confused and from your part i do feel some sense of confusion and a little bit of like desperation it's more of like that energy of desperation and almost as if hopeless but i do feel the energy or more like the emotions of a little bit of pissed off actually and annoyed as well that's what i feel from you but from the person in your mind this person still is dealing with a lot of stressful situations in their life so will this person propose to you or not we'll see again with the next card okay so i feel like the cards are saying like it can be a possibility but I'm so sorry, unfortunately, I don't see any specific answers in this pile of cards. I don't see if it's a yes or no. It's more of like it can be a possibility because this person is still dealing with a lot of things in their life. There are still things that they haven't tell you yet that are happening behind the curtain in their life, in work, in their work life, in their family life as well. But for a lot of them, I do see that they're still having problems in their career aspect within their life and also their family. So this person is still dealing with a lot of things, but you you don't want to give up this relationship because deep down you really really still love this person and you still want to give it a chance and from what i also feel this person feels the same way this person doesn't want to give up on this relationship you know this this person really wants to be with you but they're kind of like stressed out right now they they're still dealing with a lot of things so let's see again what the next cards we have religious factors okay so this is definitely the energy like the the confusion and the stress energy that i feel mostly from the this person actually the energy that i feel that energy of pressure and stress it's more towards the person in your mind instead of you so for some of you if you do resonate i i do see that you might have different belief or faith with this person or that this person is dealing with some type of argument with their family about faith this doesn't has to do with religion specifically this can also be about faith in life the way they see life in general perspective about marriage about relationship romance and all of those kind of stuff so they might as well having this type of arguments or debate with their family mostly with their parents about faith about marriage and life in general and this is really stressing them out because i even feel I, I i even see that sometimes this person would even like cry to sleep you know until they fall asleep they're so stressed out they're freaking stressed out so for some of you i do see that you are the one who's who, who's wanting to propose to this person but you're still holding back because you're not really sure that person is still dealing with so many like really heavy personal things in their life you know they they have some type of uh, like family mental issues and stuff like that that they still need to deal with and i feel like if you want to propose to this i mean if you are the one who wants to propose to this person i feel the energy of like a little bit scared to get rejected because you don't know how that person is going to react because you don't know if that person actually wants to be with you if that person is actually re really really ready with you you're just like wandering and wondering you're just like guessing and guessing and assuming because you and this person 
you haven't had a really good conversation yet about marriage that's why you can only guess and guess and guess and I also see that for some of you again for those of you that you are the one who wants to propose to your person I feel like there is also this fear energy other than the rejection you also have this fear of energy that you don't want to bother this person because you know that this person is still dealing with a lot of things in their life and you're scared that if you propose to them your marriage with them is actually just going to put even more burden burden sorry burden on their shoulder so let's see what the next card is okay so the card is saying that this could be the one so again yes there, there is definitely a possibility here so li like i said this is not a yes like a complete yes but this is not a no as well this is a possibility so with the card it's just saying that that other person is thinking that you could be the one and you also think that this person could be the one that's why like i said no matter the situation whether you want to be proposed or you the one that wants to propose you and this person are at least on the same page about thinking that both of you are each other you know the one the soulmate you know or the twin flame but whatever term that you use you know like both of you i do feel that you you want to be with this person and that other person i mean that person in your mind they also want to be with you so that's all that i see and also last but not least another message is i do see with the three angels here with the three cupids i see that this relationship right now it's still under defined guidance it is within defined protection and so whatever is happening right now it's just saying to just focus on the present moment and also the need for a clear honest communication you really do need conversation with this person that is just like very open and honest because you gotta be clear with some stuff you have to be clear with each other standards limit boundaries uh, plan for life goals for the future visions and all of that so that's it from what i see in this pile of cards i hope that my reading resonates with you if it does please don't forget to like and comment down below go ahead share it with me how do you feel about this reading i would love to hear it with you if it resonates so i will be back with more videos so take care lovelies all right so hello for those of you who picked the last pile of card we're going to see whatever message that comes up so the first card we have tree of fire the tree of fire is talking about prophetic like some type of prophetic event or prophetic situation so i see that for some of you this is divinely guided because the number three is a very magical prophetic number it's it's very spiritual as well and it's also the number of creation after union so this person I feel like this person or you or maybe both of you as well have been looking towards the future with each other for some of you I see that you might as well already talk about marriage and having children as well because I do see that for some of you you want to have a children and the other that person in your mind also wants to have children with you and the tree of card is a wonderful card because it's talking about abundance things are looking good you know but you also have to have patience at this time now i do receive another message this might not resonate with all of you because again remember this is a general reading don't freak out okay just take what resonates but for some of you i feel like there might still be some type of blockage for this person to come to you and propose because i see that either you or that person still has to deal with past relationship this is not like a third party third wheel type of situation it's more of like an ex that's coming back and this ex is not like trying to purposely ruin or intimidate any of you it's just like somehow i'm i i i also don't i also don't know why like i personally don't know why but i do notice for people for a lot of people 
who are truly truly meant to be together i don't know why the heck it happens but when when two souls are about to come into union two souls that are truly meant to be with each other somehow exes just suddenly pop back in i also don't know why that also happened with me and i hear i heard that it happened to a lot of people as well to some of my friends and my siblings as well somehow it just freaking happened and out of the odds like talking about the devil when you're actually about to get married somehow your ex pops in again so this can be the situation here but then again what i'm seeing is like that the, the other third person is not like they want to like ruin it or intimidate any of you this can be that maybe they just want to have a very clear and final closure or they just want to have like that one final conversation so whether it is the ex of the person in your mind or your ex so this what needs to like you know come out because it needs to happen somehow for some of you so that it can truly come out have a final closure and just poof away because in the background i am so drawn to take a look at this volcano and this can also like that metaphor of eruption you know of everything from within from underground that's coming out into the surface and that it just died down so let's see what the next card is so page of earth from what i see here is that whatever it's going to happen and then it's going to pass you know it, it's just going to pass on anyway the page of earth is a very wonderful card because it is a card of successful of being patient as well and truly being in the moment to learn every lesson and situation as well so from what i see here will this person propose to you or not i do see a possibility right here but the guidance or the message that i see right now for you that you need to know right now at this present moment is more about whatever is happening you have to focus on the situation right now at this present moment there are just some things that you still need to finish and that other person also need to finish so whatever it is happening or maybe even like a little bit challenging in the beginning just take it as a lesson but just know that this person is dependable though like this person is dependable and and the person in your mind also thinks that you are dependable so i do see a, a pretty balanced trust between you and the and this person that's why i do see that you're you're not and you're not going to be overly worried about this third party because then again this is not like coming in to destroy your relationship it's more of like the final closure you know that you need or your person needs for some of you if you resonate so let's take a look with the other uh, card so the third card four of earth so i see a lot of earth energy so for some of you who's going to resonate this also has to do with career for some of you this person wants to propose to you yes they do but the blockage can also be about career so maybe they have some type of insecurity about their financial status or they feel like they're not enough yet they're not good enough yet to provide you or they also want to plan this out correctly so that they have enough money to buy the beautiful ring that you deserve so this person is just like you know i want to have a good status in my career i want to have really good income and everything i want to be rich enough so i can give all of this wonderful gifts this beautiful presence to you so this is what i feel and this this is one of the reasons why this person is still like holding back if you feel that way because yeah this person has some type of blockage when it comes to the financial aspect within their life so there is definitely a possibility for a marriage here for a proposal but for some of you i do see that yes this person wants to but the 
then again, I still see a lot of blockage here, you know, when it comes to this and also to this financial stuff. It's just gonna... I think that's it with this card. I'm just going to take a look with the next card. So what do we have here? Deception. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So again, like I said, don't freak out. <laughs> but I feel like this has something to do with their past. So whatever happened in their past or your past, there needs to be a closure. And I do see that there is the feeling of it also insecurity. So with the deception card, it doesn't necessarily always mean about like betrayal or stab in the back or like third party situation, stuff like that. But I do sense that the deception card on this one is talking more about insecurities as well. I think that this is linking back towards the financial state. They, they're wearing this false mask of acting like they have it all together but they don't and you know if you're aware about the law of attraction kind of thing or fake it till you make it act on it i mean yes that works that is actually positive and you know like you know i also practice the law of attraction and i also talk about that but with this person i see that they're just like too fake about it they just want they more like they're in denial they're not fake sorry that's actually not the right word the the more correct word that i want to use is that they are in denial because they want to do they want to look good they want to do things where they look good in front of you they are they're still dealing with a lot of insecurities here and also a little bit of self-confidence because they just want to look perfect in front of you but you know they still need to deal with all of these things so there are so many different kind of messages here in this last pile of cards so just take what it is whatever resonates with you this can be with the with the ex your ex or their ex that needs to have like the final closure and this can also be financial stuff and this can also be insecurities so let's see what the next card let go of control issues so i see that this card is also linking back again to the deception card so whether it is you or that person has some type of like control issues and okay so i see with the control issues has to do with the perfectionism part yes this person just wants to be overly perfect in front of you that they try to control every possible situation where they can look good they look enough they look they look good enough and they look perfect in front of you that that is actually one of the reasons why they're still holding back to to propose to you or to be in this commitment because of that you know all of these things this is like again this this has a lot of many different message so this can be for some of you then the financial part can be for some of you then again this is a general reading you know i'm i'm reading for a lot of you with many different situations but this is what I see so far. So the next card we have is passion. Definitely there is passion in this relationship. Both of you are passionate. You love each other so much. And this person really wants to win your heart in a way. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually have the wedding card. This is amazing. <laughs> so I do see that, you know, both... The, of you and this person you are looking towards the future and it's going to be a passionate wonderful committed relationship so this is a very huge possibility again so you can see it this way this all of this that we talk about that i see with all the messages and the signs these all of these are the things from the recent past or the the present moment that you still have to deal with that you still have to that you have to finish these are all the things that you just have to you know just completely finish right now in this present moment before you move to this future so this 
can definitely be a possibility and I also see for those of you who are wondering how it's going to unfold how it's going to happen I do see that for some of you are going to take a trip outside you know by the beach because I see that you know in the background of this passion card it's as the ocean so I see that it can be like somewhere else outside but then again this is not really as detailed as the other piles because I see the message that you need to know right now is more about what you have to focus in this present moment this is very important this is something you really really need to take care of first right now or that other person needs to take care so if you want to go to this situation this possibility this is what you have to deal with first so that's all that i see with this pile of card and when it comes to the timing i don't see any specific you know specific numbers i don't see any specific timing of months or weeks because i see like this is what you actually have to keep in mind first that's all i really hope that it resonates if it does please don't forget to like and comment down below i would love to hear your comments so go ahead share your thoughts and feelings about this reading down in the comments i will be back with more videos so take care lovelies and i'll see you soon